Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we successfully abstracted our router into a separate file in our, our lib folder. Everything's working. We've got a ping root uh, defined and it's catching all our requests. Now that we've tested that uh, this kind of abstraction is working, let's go ahead and let's delete this ping root. And the goal for this lesson is to start setting up the basic structure of our register login and log out endpoints. Okay, so the first endpoint I want to set up is the, the slash register endpoint, and that's going to handle a, a user registration. All right, and so I'm going to use references underscore, which is accessing the, the router that we've set up, and I'm going to use the post method that's available to us on this router. I'm going to invoke that post method, and we're going to pass in the route that we want here, and that's going to be a register. Cool, and then we're going to pass in a request handler for this register route. Okay, and so once we've uh, defined this, we've given a function to handle that request, we can pass in the request and response, and then we will be good to go. All right, so next up, we're going to set up a try catch block. And in our catch, we are just going to throw a new error. If anything does go wrong in our try block, so we're going to reference the response and then we are just going to use this status method. So this is a new uh, method that we're using on the response object. We've used the JSON method before. We're just gonna chain that onto the end. What we're doing is we explicitly stating a status code that we wanna send back and that will be appended to the response object. And then we also want to send back a, a JSON object in that uh, response. All right, and now we can set up something a little bit more informative in our response. We're going to set a key for timestamp and we're just going to send the current time of when this response is actually created. And then we will just have a message that we can send back and we'll say, for now, let's just say successfully registered as well as um, having the code on there. A little bit of dummy code here, just to make sure that we're hitting that register endpoint and we are able to send that response back. All right, so I'm gonna hit enter here and that looks good for now. And if I'm wanting to test this out and we open up our browser and we navigate to the register endpoint, you will see that we get back here a cannot get API register. And so basically what's happening when you do a, a simple a request here to this URL, by default, the browser is doing a get request. And so now that we're starting to work with some of the different methods, like the post method in this instance, we need to start thinking about how we're going to test out our calls to the API. So we're going to make use of a nice uh, application, a third party application called Postman. So I'm going to open that up on my computer here. And if you have never used Postman before, go ahead and download it. It's pretty simple to install on your machine. Um, I'll leave the link for it down in the comments below this video. Uh, but basically uh, get it installed and then open it up and then you should see something like this. And at the top here, each one of these tabs uh, will allow you to open up a new session. And what we want to do is you can see we can put in our, uh, it asks for the request URL and we're going to use localhost 3000. We're going to hit our API and in this case we want to hit the register endpoint. All right. And so that's looking good for now. And now you'll see there's this drop down menu here and we want to select the post. If we do a get and hit send, you'll see this is the HTML that's just being rendered in that browser in that previous error that we had. So we want to make sure we're using the correct method, which is post and we're going to hit send. And then you'll see we get back a status here of 200 and we get that JSON object that we have constructed in our code over here. As you can see, what's happening is our server is listening on port 3000. We have requested a route on API. It gets put, that request gets passed through to that router. What happens now is through that router, it's going to look for any method that is a post. And that's why when we selected post in Postman, it's going to look at all the posts. If we had multiple posts, then the next step for it is just to match the next part of that request URL, which is slash register. 
And then once it finds a match, then it's going to handle the response and the request with the, the handler that we've passed through. Everything went well in our try block here, and it, it sent back a 200 with the JSON object that we specified here. So that's looking all good. Let's take a short break and we'll pick it up in the next lesson. Cheers for now.